Hi, my name is Dan Irvin and I'm a Salesforce Consultant with Luxent. In this quick hit video, I'm going to be providing an introduction to the bucket field functionality that is native to Salesforce reporting. We're going to cover the types, proper usage, and examples of bucket fields. Let's get started. Bucket fields are a feature of Salesforce reporting that allows you to quickly categorize records without custom fields, formulas, spreadsheets, or interns. There are three types of bucketing fields, numeric, pick list, and text. Let's start out with numeric bucket fields. A use case for a numeric bucket field would be the opportunity amount field. With a numeric bucket field, we can display a new column showing a bucket name that is based on a currency range. Let's take a look. So first, let's select the arrow on the amount column in our report and select bucket this field. You'll notice that the source column has already been set to amount. This is preset because we selected bucket this field directly from the amount column. Let's go ahead and name this bucket field amount category. Next, let's add in our ranges and names. We'll add an amount that is less than or equal to 99,999 and name it standard. Then, we'll add the name of everything above that to huge. But that's a pretty big jump. So let's add in a middle range. We'll click Add and call it Large. Let's go ahead and adjust the range to less than a million dollars. OK, now we have three ranges. Let's go ahead and hit OK to see what has happened. So as you can see, we now have a new column named Amount Category displaying the bucket names we defined. To edit the ranges or even add new ones, you click the arrow on the column and select Edit Bucket Field. Next, let's talk about pick list bucket fields. A use case for a pick list bucket field would be the Opportunity Stage field. With a pick list bucket field, we can display a new column showing a bucket name that is based on a group of stages. So let's take a look. As before, let's select the arrow on the stage column in our report and select Bucket This Field. Let's name this bucket field Sales Process. Next, let's go ahead and create our buckets. Let's create four buckets and name them Discovery, Quoted, Sold, and Lost. Now, let's drag the stages to their associated buckets. As this is a learning video, I'm not going to be too exact here. We're going to go ahead and select Show Unbucketed Values as Other, just in case we missed any. Now that we've created our buckets, let's go ahead and hit OK to see what has happened. OK, great. You can see our bucket fields are displaying new information. Next, let's cover text bucket fields. A use case for a text bucket field would be the Opportunity Name field. With a text bucket field, we can normalize a field to display a bucket name instead of the text in the original field. This is very useful when you have similar names you want to standardize in a report. So let's take a look. As before, let's select the arrow on the name column in our report and select Bucket This Field. Let's name this bucket field Fixed Names. Next, let's go ahead and create our buckets. Let's create a bucket named Grayson. Now, we're going to search for the word Grayson and drag them into the new bucket we created. After selecting OK, we should see all opportunities we added in their correct form. Now that we've covered the types, here's some useful information about bucket fields. In summary reports, you can use bucket fields as a grouping field. Simply click and hold on your bucket field and drag it into the Summary drop zone in the Preview pane of the Report Builder. Also in Summary Reports, you can display bucket field information in Charts. When building the chart, the bucket field will appear as an option. In addition, when building a report, you can use bucket fields in your filter criteria. Again, simply click and hold on your bucket field and drag it into the Filter section of the Report Builder. This concludes the Quick Hit video for bucket fields. Thanks for watching.